hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple trick inside of after effects and if you want to learn more about logo animation and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We are going to call it as main animation. But first I'll adjust the size of it. So height and width is 1920 by 180. And composition name I'm going to call it as main animation. Width is 1920, height 180, frame rate 30, duration 30. And background color is white and simply hit OK. Go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection. Now press Ctrl N to create another composition. And we are going to call it as strip over here and width i'm going to choose thousand and height 50 okay like this then over here uh, let's do one thing i'm going to select my text tool and i'm going to type my text i'm going to type motion then select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now you can go to the character menu and you can increase and decrease the alphabet's distance right now i'm going to choose thousand and in make sure in paragraph you are going to choose center text then i want a little bit more distance between this alphabet so i'm gonna go in animate and i'm going to choose let's say tracking and increase the tracking like this okay so we will get this kind of stuff okay like that now after that i'm going to select my text tool uh, let's lock this layer and let's type another text and type m now select this M, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Go to the character menu and choose black color. Now select this M and let's move this over here up to this. Okay. Now select this M and hit Ctrl D. Change the text to O. Select this, press P for position and we will bring this over here. Select this text, hit Ctrl D and we are going to change this text to T select this press p and try to adjust the position over here then select this text hit ctrl d to duplicate it type i select this press p and change the position of this one over here then i am going to select this o over here hit ctrl d bring this at the top press p and let's bring the position of this o over here then select this o hit ctrl d change this to n select this press p and let's bring this over here now select all of these layers and press ctrl alt home to align their respective anchor point at the center then press p for position and create one keyframe each then go to around two seconds and create another keyframe and in middle of that which means at one second what we are going to do i'm going to select this m and i'll bring this at the position of this n then i'm going to select this o and i'll bring this at the position of this o i'll select this t and i'll bring the position of this to this i then i'll select this i and i'll bring this at the position of this t select this o bring this at the position of this o like this select this n and bring this at the position of this n okay then select those keyframes and hit f9 so if i see this now i'll get this kind of animation now go to the graph editor right click and make sure to edit speed graph select this text i mean graph by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here so if you see this now we will get something like this and by holding alt i'm going to move this up to three seconds so if i see this now i'll get this kind of animation now let's select this motion text over here and we will simply hit delete okay like this now press p again to uh, see this keyframes and by holding alt i'm going to apply loop out expression on it hit enter see hit ctrl a to select this expression hit ctrl c to copy that expression and we will simply paste the expression 
for all of them so what will happen we will get this animation continuously okay now select this m and press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and let's call it as m and hit ok then select this o press ctrl shift c and let's call it as o select this t press ctrl shift c and let's call it as t same procedure we will follow for this i for this o and for this m okay now let's select all of these layers and hit ctrl d and let's bring them at the top and change the color of this one to yellow okay just for now now select all the yellow layers and we are going to apply fill effect on it and we are going to choose white color for it now select this fill effect and hit ctrl c select all of the remaining layers and hit ctrl v okay so all the yellow color uh, stuff is in uh, white color let's uh, hide this now first select this m layer which is this one I'm going to go in effect and presets panel and I'll search for echo effect to apply and simply double click change the number of echoes to 20 and decay I'm going to choose 0.5 like this and uh, echo time we are going to remove this first three and we'll type zero over there so if you see this now we are going to get something like this and if you want let's enable this icon over here so we can see only this M you can increase the number of copies to let's say 20 or let's say 20 is good we will reduce the decay let's check 0.8 or something like that okay this looks good and now uh, we are going to copy this echo effect hit ctrl c to copy select all of the layers and hit ctrl v not this uh, yellow layers but only this layers and now if you enable these layers if you see over here we are gonna get this kind of animation continuously okay so this is our first animation then go to the main animation comp and hit ctrl 0 to open the project window and we will simply bring our strip over here now go inside the strip press ctrl y to create one solid background and i'm going to choose red color just for now we will remove it later let's go to the main animation press s for scaling option and we will make the scale to 70 or let's say 60 maybe i think so let's choose 60 go to the align tab and go to the align top like this press p for position and right now the position is 15 let's select this and hit ctrl d press p for position and let's try to increase the position of it zoom in a little bit and if you see uh, we don't need this gap so with the help of arrow keys i'm going to move this up to here okay so at 45 uh, uh, it's properly touching this so if you see uh, do the calculation over here let's do that uh, let's say 45 minus 15 which is equal to 30 okay so what we are going to do let's do our expression stuff we will select this layer and delete it now select this layer alt click on the stopwatch open brackets and square bracket i mean close square bracket inside that type position open and square or close square bracket type 0 after that type comma again position open and close square bracket type 1 after that type plus and as you guys know our calculation says it should be 30 value so i'm going to type 30 star and index okay so this is simple expression that we need to apply and let's make this fit now select the strip hit ctrl d until unless we are gonna get complete like this by hitting ctrl a i'll select all of them and i'll simply bring them at the top somewhere around like this okay now hit page down button one time hold alt close bracket to trim this right click go to the keyframe assistance sequence layers and hit ok zoom out a little bit and let's increase the duration of it and let's make this cut resolution so if i see this animation now i'll get something like this let's go to the strip and we will delete this red layer we don't need that like this okay and as the animation is completing over here i'll hold alt open bracket trim this up to this go to the start and simply move this over here okay let's make the full resolution like this and now i want this animation in the form of loop so what i'm gonna do let's hit ctrl plus to zoom in a little bit i'll hit ctrl r to bring my ruler and i'll bring one line over here okay like this and one line over here okay i'll make this animation goes okay 
and whenever this n is going to be properly over here which means this is my looping point so i'll hit n over here so if i see this stuff now i'll get this animation continuously in the form of loop like this okay then i'll press ctrl y and instead of complete white i'm going to choose grayish color and i bring this downwards like this okay if you want then you can choose a little bit of extra grayish color then let's go to the top right click new and create one null object simply select all of them obviously except this background and we will make it apparent with this null select this null press s and let's make this 120 press r for rotation and we'll rotate it like this and let's move this over here let's make this 140 okay and if you want then you can adjust the stuff according to your needs okay so this is how you can create this kind of animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin which gives quite a dna feeling over here okay and if you want then you can make it zero only without any rotation and 100 scale like this only okay so it's totally up to you how you want to adjust that i'll adjust it somewhere around like this okay this looks good to me so this is how you can create this kind of text animation inside of after effects